Hey everybody, it's Trucker Chad here, coming to you for Driver Solutions. Hey everybody, this is Trucker Chad, coming to you from the uh, Pam Irving Yard, about to head to Georgia. Um, a friend of mine, he's a company driver, he's a trainer, a mentor, coach, however you want to put it. Um, had a trainee wreck his truck a couple days ago. Um, they both got lucky. They both walked away with uh, relatively minor uh, injuries, some bruises, a black eye. Um, my friend, the trainer, he basically drove his whole clock out. And um, early, early in the morning had his trainee take over, who was probably on his fourth or fifth day. The trainee had been in a sleeper berth, took a good nap. I think he said he had a, you know, he was back there six, seven hours. And, um, trainee got into the driver's seat started driving my friend the mentor went to the back to the sleeper to make a phone call and munch on something and all of a sudden he hears the truck going over the rumble strips that indicates that the, the tractor and the trailer are starting to hit the shoulder and then he hears the other set of tires hit the rumble strips so he comes up to the front and the trainee is completely passed out in the driver's seat I mean, completely asleep. And he goes to grab the steering wheel and try to move the truck back to the left while the trainee all of a sudden wakes up, jerks the steering wheel to the left, which you never, ever do. You don't ever just jerk the steering wheel on these things, you know, all of a sudden, because all it's going to do is make the weight shift the other way and you're going to end up dumping the truck. So anyways, the truck rolls on its side, skids about 200 yards down the highway. My friend, uh, who wasn't in his seatbelt because he had tried to come moved the truck over back onto the highway, got tossed around inside his truck. Uh, but he got lucky. Um, you know, he minor, minor injuries. Um, the truck is damaged pretty total from what I hear. He's in another truck already. And of course that trainee's driving career is finished. And this guy was a CDL ace, had the red hat, you know, got through everything with flying colors, had perfect scores, but for some reason, would uh got fatigued really easily or didn't sleep well or had some underlying medical issue that he didn't report but the point is is he fell asleep this is one of the most dangerous things that can happen to a driver um it's one of the things that as trainers we kind of risk our lives trusting these new drivers to let us know if they're tired so we can you know park the truck and get them the adequate rest they need um, if you are tired, if you are sleepy, you need to tell somebody. This, this isn't one of those situations where we think we're the big bad truck driver, we're the super trucker, as I like to call them, and we could do anything. If you are tired, you need to stop. If you're training and you're tired, you need to tell your trainer, you know, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm, I didn't sleep well, I'm, I'm, I'm finding myself really tired, I need to stop for a little bit you need to let somebody know or you need to hold yourself accountable and be responsible enough when you're on your own to report to the company i need to take a nap i'm falling asleep do not try to make yourself stay awake because all that's going to happen is you're going to jeopardize your life and the life of the motoring public that's around you you can kill somebody really easy you can get yourself killed really easy it's a serious you know this isn't you know, the, the, the culture of 20, 30 years ago with machoism and, you know, I'm the big bad dude or I'm the big bad female and I could do it and nobody going to tell me nothing else different. No, no, no. We have a responsibility to the public to operate these large 80,000 pound machines in a safe, responsible manner. If you're tired, you need to stop, pull over, take a nap, let the company know. If the load's going to be late, the load's going to be late. You know, that's what they deal with all the time. You know, late loads happen. Um, we'd rather have a load late than a dead driver. We'd rather have a load late than have that load spilled all over the highway and totally destroyed. So again, it's going to happen. You're going to find yourself in a situation where you're tired, you're fatigued, you're getting drowsy. Stop, pull over, take a nap. A, a little one-hour power nap will do you a whole lot of good. Uh, 
you know, shoving gallons of coffee or energy drinks down your mouth is just, it's only going to help you for a few minutes and it's just going to make you more tired and fatigued, especially when that sugar crash happens. This is really serious. This is a fun job. It's an adventure. It's a very lucrative job, especially when you have some experience, but it's also dangerous and we have to be responsible. We have to hold ourselves accountable. And if you're tired, you need to stop and pull over. My friend is lucky. He's lucky. He didn't get killed. He didn't get seriously hurt. His trainee's lucky. The trainee who had the seatbelt on. So, you know, he, he's alive. But now his driving career is essentially over before it even started. All because he couldn't let somebody know that he was tired. You know, there's going to be times when we don't get enough sleep. And, and, or you don't sleep good in a moving truck. It happens sometimes. Let somebody know. Be responsible. Be safe. So... This kind of went a little longer than I wanted to, but this is a serious matter. I mean, we can't be falling asleep on these on these highways. There's no excuse for that. Um, stop and pull over. Get a power nap. Let the company know. They'll deal with the repercussions of it later. Your health and safety is more important. So, I'm Trucker Chad for Driver Solutions. As always, be sure to go like the Trucker Chad Facebook page. Uh, look for me on the Driver Solutions uh, group page. I'm always pretty active on there. And always, uh, if you have any questions, reach out to me. That's what I'm here for. All the new students, good luck in school. All the new trainees out there, be safe. And everybody have a great day. Take care.